Good morning, guys. It's Gary here. Um, <clears throat> this is the um, just a weekend update video. Hope you're all keeping well and um, getting some building time on the bench. Um, I had a day off yesterday, day off of work, so it's always a good time for me to catch up with um, building projects and and whatnot. Well, firstly, quickly, I'd like to mention a big thank you to Steve. I got your card yesterday, got it in the post, that was exceptionally quick. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for that. It's a brilliant little card. So um, yeah, thanks very much for that, buddy. Steve's the only one that sent a card through. Um, so like I said in the last video, if, you, um, if you've got cards, I'll be happily accept them. So onto the models. In front, uh, you can see that I've finished the um, Polar Lights Coronet, the 65 Dodge Coronet. Turned out really well. Uh, this is the snap kit, as you probably all know. Um, but yeah, it turned out very nice. Um, got some American mags on there. Um, I did manage to blackwash the grill in the end. It's not brilliant, but the detail is so shallow, it's extremely difficult to... Um, to get the um, wash in there, to stay in there, if you like. Um, but yeah, we've got some um, detailed interior, two-tone, um, but you know, like I said, these, these snap kits, these Polar Light snap kits, got a bit of smudges on the glass there, so. could do with a polish, sorry about that. <laughs> these Polar Light snap kits get a bit of a bad rap, um, you know, saying they don't fit and they don't look right, and um, I've got to be honest with you, I've really enjoyed this one. Um, let's see if I can get the hood off. There we go. Didn't wire it. I don't always wire my engines, like I said last video. You know, if I feel like it, I will. If I don't, I won't. But um, to be honest, I think this is a really nice little kit, and it makes a really nice display model. Um, I'm not up to speed on what's 100% accurate or not, but um, it looks pretty good to me. So that's all that matters. No then, next one, on to the, um, this kit, this one, the AMT 70 uh, Chevy Camaro Z28. Um, I've heard there was a few problems with this kit, as in final assembly. Um, I know a lot of people said that the, um, the, the chassis doesn't sit down into the um, body very well. So I've been doing a lot of dry fitting. Um, this is as far as I've got on this one so far. It's got a plain black interior. I mean, these cars, I say, when you, unless you went for a different color interior, which this one's going to be silver body uh, with a black vinyl interior. I will um, put some satin coat on the actual seats just to bring them up a bit. And um, yeah, it's all looking pretty good so far. Really nice engine. I think it's a 350. Really nice detail on that one. Lovely carburetor, lovely carburetor. Um, it has got problems for fitting. Um, you can see there the gap in between the sort of, if the camera focuses on it. Yeah, let's put this down. Sorry about that guys. <laughs> camera nearly went for a trip then. So yeah. Um, you can see the gap there, which I'm not happy with at all. Now I've um, this is such a tight fit. This um, this base plate is such a tight fit in the actual body. It's unbelievable. Let me just try and take it out for you a sec. But I definitely suggest. I know several people have built this kit, but I definitely suggest a lot of dry fitting before you do it. Um, the dashboard. Now I have trimmed off, I've trimmed off from that top section there, probably about three millimeters of plastic and it's still springing. So yeah, it does need a lot of adjustment. It's, it's interference between the actual, um, the screen, the bottom of the screen and the top of the dashboard. So I'm going to still got to take some off um, just to, because it's just not sitting right for my liking. But you know, it's a nice kit. I've heard about these problems already, so I mean, you know, I was well prepared for it, so 
I'm doing it before I get any paint on the body and I'll ruin all that. But yeah, it's going alright this one. Um, the weather's a bit crap at the moment again, so I can't paint at the moment, but I'm hoping to get some paint on it in the next week or so. Um, and then we'll see how we go. I haven't got no silver paint in my massive aerosol paint stock. I haven't got any silver. So um, I'll have to wait until I can get some silver. So um, yeah, hope you're all keeping well. Um, hope you all enjoy the weekend. Um, I send my best wishes to Gary Ruby, a moderate modeler. Um, all the best, Gary. Um, I've heard about your open heart surgery, and that can't be a very nice thing to have done, mate. So, uh, when you see this, or if somebody sees him, pass the best wishes on from me. And, um, right, hopefully, I'll speak to you all soon, perhaps next weekend, for another update on the Camaro. Bye for now.